So hello, uh, this is Cat Volution with uh, Cyril Negra of MDI and we're going to discuss the refilling stations. So uh, these refilling stations, how do they work? The, the idea of the refilling station, refilling station is to fill some tanks, some fixed tanks uh, with a big compressor and when these tanks are, are full the car is arriving next, next to the air station and you transfer the air from these big tanks to the car. That's the idea, is to compress the air outside of the car and transfer the air to the car when you need uh, to fill the car. What's the maximum number of cars per day that they can handle? It depends on the dimension of the air station we choose, but uh, in our mind we should do one car each five minutes, like a petrol station. Can they work continuously? Yes, it's possible to work continuously, but it is better to compress the air during the night and use it during the day. This is to avoid some kind of trouble we can have on the net. Uh, because electricity is, uh, well, in France, very often thrown away during the night, so we could use this electricity to compress the air and then uh, fill the car during the day. Have these stations already been designed? They do already exist, the same kind of station for gas, natural gas, but uh, we just have to adapt the system. But that's what we've done for compressed air. But it's quite easy because uh, the tanks are still made because uh, for fixed application like an air station, you can use some steel tanks that are cheaper. Uh, you can put them under the ground, you can do these kind of things. But uh, it is very easy to take in, uh, uh, on the shelf some components like the compressor, like the tanks, and to, to hold them together to fill the, the car. Okay. Uh, refilling the air tanks at home, uh, do the internal compressors exist? Yes, we've done. We made some compressors uh, that are connected. It is, it is an overpressure system. You have the, the air engine running in an opposite way that gives you something like 10 bars. And you use these 10 bars to fill an overpressure system, which is a three-stage three compressor, uh, to rise the 300 bar we need in a car. Can you describe the three-stage compressors? Yes, we have... Uh, well, it's a three-stage compressor put in... A, uh, star way, like a uh, star's engine, you know, with, uh, with just one mechanism to drive them. And uh, these three compressors are becoming smaller and smaller. The volume becomes smaller because the pressure is uh, increasing in the system. And uh, added to the engine, it is uh, altogether five stage compressor. Five stage compressor? Yes, using the two stage of the engine, first stage, and then three stage overpressor system that you just connect to the, to the air engine. We are going to connect it before you, we, we sell the car. You will have it in the car. You won't connect it at home. Okay. So it works? We have, yes, we have a prototype of one running, uh, working, and uh, doing the overpressure up to 300 bar, yes. Okay, great. You can see it. Uh, there are some pictures on the net of your uh, three stage uh, overpressure system. Sorry? Uh, on the net, we can see some pictures of this uh, system overpressure uh, uh, compressor. Okay, great. Thanks. Now, can we take a look at the... Uh... Yes. So this is the, the air station. We are inside of the air station. You have a compressor that is going to fill these tanks, which are steel tanks, connected all together. And uh, the pressure inside of the tank is going to be 350 bar. This allows you to charge a car at 300 bar within a few minutes. Well, this one is dimensioned for our facility just to... We, we can fill one car each 20 minutes with this one, but you just have to imagine that we have more tanks and a bigger compressor to fill one car each five minutes. Okay. MDI is also working on some system. Uh, we've patented a few systems and we are working uh, in producing air using renewable energy. Like what uh... we can do with uh, wind turbine. We can do with... Uh, we've done a system on... Uh, river, using some small turbine on a river and filling tanks uh, on a kind of boat where there is the air station. And uh, also we can do this with solar panel and all a mixture of all these uh, renewable energy. So it'll be completely green yeah, energy. This is anyway our target at the end to have some green energy to compress the air, of course. Okay, so it'll be a completely fossil fuel free yes. vehicle? Yes. But the idea is not to pass through electricity to compress the air even if the electricity is produced with renewable energies to directly compressing the air using some wind turbine, using some 
uh, some compressors, small turbine inside of the river, or these kind of things, directly connected to the compressors. Okay, great, thanks. You're welcome. Photoshop, j'en ai vrai. Ouais. Dans le trajet euh, ouais, ouais, pour déjà. Paris, là, que, ouais, sur les côtés aussi, ça a pris. Euh, un peu de Et dans le vie, vous savez qu'on va faire des potes. Je vois le oh. euh, comme ça je vois les oh. l'action. Oh. Oui. <rire> J'ai pas. Non, mais